Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman, your notary hero, Tiger Toledo. And I am doing another sales training for my gurus out there, my, my notary professionals, notary entrepreneurs. If this is you, this message is important. Listen, listen. I'm about to drop this science with you guys. You guys. So listen, take notes, grab your pen, grab your paper. I know you're probably busy right now, but you need to hear this message. So I just left uh, an assignment. Wonderful people, wonderful, wonderful people, right? So I want you guys to really listen to this, man, because this is going to make you money on top of money on top of money on top of money with the same client you will be able to make multiple streams of income with this one client off of the tip that i am about to share with you right now so i had this beautiful melanated client actually it was for um family member of an alderman Shout out to Alderman. Um, so I'm doing the last will and testament, right? And, you know, we, we get the giggling. We having fun. You know, we we, it, it, we, we party. We, we have fun with each other, right? So <clears throat> they get this last will and testament done. So immediately I ask, hey, did you guys get your power of attorney done? Because the last will and testament is great, right? It's a great document to have, but it only comes into effect when the person makes their transition. So I asked them, I said, hey, look, the power of attorney allows you to take care of it. Because I, in the conversations that we were having, you know, the small talk, you know, gra grandma has a hard time getting around it's a little bit difficult for her to get to the places she needs to go. So I took that into account and I was like, all right, you know, hopefully they already have a power of attorney in place, but if they don't let me at least put it out there because I believe it'll be a great service to help grandma out. Right? So on the way out, I asked the, the daughter, I was like, well, does your mom have a power of attorney yet? She was like, no, uh, what is that? See, so sometimes you have to make a suggestion. You're not making, you're not making any recommendations. You're not a law firm or anything like that, but you can make recommendations. You guys just the same way you would recommend a damn movie. Hey, matrix matrix is coming out. I just saw it. It's a great movie or Spider-Man came out. I just saw it. It's a great movie. You should go check it out. The same way you're making recommendations like that. You can make recommendations for, uh, different documents that can help ease the pain of the family, right? So I suggested a power of attorney. I was like, if you guys don't have a power of attorney done, I think it would be a great thing for your family to have. Now, <clears throat> first things first, I want to service the family first. The, the money comes, you guys. Once you provide a great service, to your clients, the money immediately follows because people understand there's a transaction involved. So you ain't really got to sweat the bread like that. Your goal is to help out the family as much as possible. That is your number one goal. Help out the family as much as possible and they will become your number one evangelist, your number one advocate for your products or services. That's just the way it goes. Look at all those people that be pumping up Apple phones. Oh, Apple 11's coming out. Are you getting it? I'm getting it. I already on the waiting list and all that other crazy shit. Hold on, y'all. So, it's okay to make suggestions that will help the family out in their, you know, in their process. So she was like, oh my gosh, yeah, we definitely need to get a power of attorney. Um, okay, well, if you're gonna do the financial power of attorney, you also wanna get the medical power of attorney done as well, because those two go hand in hand. So you see how a 
a last will and testament can turn into a recurring payment with the same client. And you're still offering great value, you're offering great service, and you're uh, offering convenience and reliability. They want to go with you because they already did business with you. They're not trying to go with a whole bunch of other people, even if your price is higher. They still would rather go with someone that they recognize, someone that steered them in the right way, instead of somebody else that's just coming in, stamping a piece of paper, and walking off. We're building relationships here. We're building relationships here. So I want you to keep that in mind. Anytime you're doing a last will and testament, or even a power of attorney, um, same thing with a power of attorney. A family does a power of attorney. Say, hey, did you guys get, you know, start your last will and testament yet? All of those documents are coupled together. They're married to each other. I'm going to tell you the documents that are married to each other. Power of attorney medical is married to power of attorney financial, which is also married to a last will and testament. And depending on what the family has established throughout the years, they may even move forward and get it and get a trust. They get a trust. All of those four documents are married to each other. Now, there's another document that, which is very, very low key, very low key. But if you can introduce those documents for for homeowners only, you have to be a homeowner for these people. I mean, uh, the, the client has to be a homeowner. It's called a TODI. TODI is a transfer of death instrument. So you are now marrying five documents into one client. Five documents into one client. This will ease the pain of the family tremendously. Because now the property doesn't go into probate with the TODI. Everything gets dispersed the way it's supposed to with the last will and testament and the trust. It ease the the, the ailing, the person that has the ailing health, it eases their, their moving around with the power of attorney, financial. And if the family member needs to find out about any medical conditions, what type of medicine is being administered to their loved one, the medical power of attorney is perfect for that. So you see, all of those things are tied into each other, ladies and gentlemen. And that is my sales call, sales training for the notaries today. If you guys want to learn more, I am having a special to Christmas. You can sign up to the Notary Cashflow Academy for $1. I understand it's the holidays. Everybody's spending a lot of money. I want to make it very easy for you guys. Sign up for it for $1. So go to the link in the bio.